Today, we're gonna have some Q and A questions and answers. These are things on your mind that you wanna know, but not enough to make a full episode. We're gonna talk about it right now on the Biz Talk. <laughs> How was that intro for you, Trace? I, wow, wow. Yeah. How did yourself. Ooh. I, I'm, it's kind of a goal of mine. Every time we get on and start recording, I want to try to make the intro more, how do I say it? Delicious. Is it getting more delicious? AKA. It's much like. Yummy, um, yummy, yummy. You know what I'm saying? It's much like dairy to me. <laughs> kind of makes me want to puke and other. Other things? At the same time. Good, good. That's actually the perfect combination for me. Um. <laughs> All right. Questions and answers. I love these episodes because these are things that are on your mind. You've sent these questions in. There may be not enough to make a whole episode or we could have covered it, you know, long, I don't know, maybe some time ago, but we can give you a quick answer to to, to get you through. Um, so the first question is, this is an interesting one. Mm-hmm. How to offer constructive criticism to other nail technicians. So m- my thought is like, you you have good intentions. You're like, I, you know, I want to help her or him, and you're you're an experienced, successful nail tech, and maybe you see somebody's work, and you're like, how how do I offer constructive criticism to to help them so they can be better? I mean that that's a that's tough, right? Because nobody wants to hear that their nails need work or anything for that matter. What? How do you go about this, Trace? Well, when you guys brought this up, the first was the first thing I looked at you and said, did I ask for it? <laughs> well. And I mean that because you presented it in a different way just now. And what you presented was someone that was truly trying to be helpful. Yeah. Because some people are not trying to be helpful. They're just trying to tear people down. You see that a lot on social. You, you do see that on social. Yeah. We, we see it. We've seen it on the community where people are, people actually ask, you know, constructive criticism. I, and I give them so much props. Yeah. Like they put their work on uh, our community, which has like 45,000 members. And they ask, you know, please, I want to improve constructive criticism, please. And I hate it that they have to put in parentheses. Please be nice. Please be nice. Please be. That should be a given. I know. Um, it's hard because we get people that send us pictures asking us, yeah. you know, and I'll, I'll get the screenshot of it. And, you know, most of the time, it's very nice work. Do you want, you know, do you want me to really dive in? Are you you truly ready to, you know, hear, you know, and sometimes it's subjective. Yeah. You know, it. someone else might be like, those are perfect. And me, I'm like, well, you need more of an upper arch. So th- there's some of that. But if someone truly needs some work, you're doing them a favor, especially if they're asking by saying, well, this is what I see. You know what? You've got a great foundation. I love what you're doing. But here are the fr- few, if you did these few twe- tweaks, check it out look how much better it'll be. Yeah, this is hard. Yeah. It's hard because... Habib gives me constructive criticism, criticism all the time. Every minute of the day, mm-hmm. literally. If Actually, ding, my constructive criticism alarm went off. Tracy, and, I have something and, to and offer you. And the question is, did I ask? <laughs> exactly. No, he's all, I pay you. <laughs> I pay you, I get to ask. So therefore you asked. Yes, you asked. How, like, I guess there's two things, mm-hmm. right? Someone, if you're a, if you're, successful season pro and you have good intentions and you want to help somebody that's one thing right there's there's two sides to the coin here right then there's the person that maybe works in the same salon as you or is a friend or your friends on instagram and they're posting pics and you see the pics and you're like i see three things that they can do to improve right do you just freely offer that because some people don't want to hear it like there are some people where you you're trying to help them and they they're not ready for the help i'm right. gonna say they're right. not ready to get help they haven't like hit the wall enough to go yo can you can you help me with this like i i mean what it's it's kind of, i i have my opinion of how i would go about it so i think for me if i was like looking at habib's you know and he's doing nails and i'm like you know habib had just told me yesterday how he's struggling and he because he doesn't have enough clientele and he's really wanting more clientele you know what, I'm going to go to Habib and I'm going to say, hey, Habib, I, you know, I've been looking at your nails. I, I love that you're posting. If you ever would like some, um, you know, feedback, yeah, let me know. Now, or... That's great, actually. A, am I looking at Habib's 
Instagram. Habib has a full clientele, but um, there's a few things I think he can improve on. I'm probably not going to say anything yeah. because he has a full clientele and his clients love his nails. So what do, what do I need to tell him anything for? I may even, on that, Tracy, I may even, like, I might say to the person, hey, if you, you know, I'm here for you. If Always, you ever yeah. have questions, please hit me up and I'm happy to help you. If you have technique questions Open or anything. Yeah, and I think that's all you can do. Be, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Because there are... There's actual businesses. I have some friends mm -hmm. that are in business and who I have like tried to help guide them on the marketing side with with social and mm -hmm. and they 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 just they don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. So Drop I the names. We want to know. <laughs> I want to know. Rat them out. <laughs> We're canceling them. <laughs> I I just think that like so what I say to them is sorry to I'm like losing track. What I say to them is hey. Um, just let me know anytime if you need help with this, I'm, I'm happy to offer everything that we do that has yeah. worked and is successful. Um, I don't think you can just, I wouldn't walk up to my friend and go, yo, I saw your Instagram. So check this out, bro. What you need to do is, you, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to help you, but you, what you need to do is you got to change this. You got to do this more. I ain't going to do that Yeah. because they're just going to be like, did I ask exactly what did you said? Did I ask you? Yeah. What What are you saying? What are you saying? Defensive. Defensively. I did this with the, with the gym I used to go to and I, I, I just loved the gym. I loved the people and I just really saw some unique Potential. opportunities on Instagram that they could yeah. be doing. So I went to him. I'm like, hey, you know, I, I do a lot on social media. Yep. And if you're ever, you know, interested, you know, I don't know if they maybe, maybe they thought I was trying to sell my services. I, mm. you know, after that, I thought about it, but I, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not trying to sell. I was just, you know, yeah. but they never trying came. To and, but they, they, they figured it out on their own, which yeah. is great. But I like that because you're opening the door, yeah. right? With, without, because I'm sure you've went down that path before. Yes, did I they, have. did they get defensive? defensive and uh it it caused issues it was like uh, my intentions are good but it doesn't matter it's like if somebody's not ready for it yeah you, you, you there's nothing doesn't you can matter do. so instead exactly what you said i open the door i leave it there on the table and it's there if you want it and feel free to contact me and then it's the balls in your court yeah. at that point and we go from there yeah it's yep. perfect Next question in the Q&A is how to convince your clients that the e-file is not dangerous. I have one word for you, Tracy. <laughs> coochie, coochie, coo. Oh, tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> this is a Greg strategy. It, it, I think it's effective. It, it is effective. You know why? Because it drives me nuts, but I remember it every time. And when I'm teaching, I find myself going, <laughs> coochie, so, <laughs> coochie, coo. <laughs> the face you just made. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Sorry. so no it was great it was great so explain that what we mean because yeah. people are like what the hell are you guys talking about so basically it's something that greg shows you he takes the electrophile and he puts it on your you know this is a delicate spot just yeah, on like your wrist your, your thumb pad yeah right? and he goes coochie coochie coo and tickle, it's tickle, like tickle. this little tickle 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 and you're like oh that doesn't hurt. So this is something I actually have done. I did not say coochie 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 though. <laughs> I'm like, so people will say, well, you know, what would you do if someone refused an electrophile use? Like, like, sorry, just to clarify, are you saying that they said, I will not come to you if you use that yeah, on me? Yeah, this is a question we get, especially OWC okay. a lot. And I okay. said they would not be my client. That's exactly right. So because again, this is my body. It's saved my wrists. I go faster. It's, it's, it's really for me. I, I always say I would not grab a handsaw to go cut a tree down. That's I'm right. going to use a chainsaw. Right. Um, not that I'm comparing an electric file to a chainsaw, but, you, you know, it's an electric file. It's made for this purpose. Right. And, um, and people are like, well, that's harsh. I'm like, no, I would explain to them that I can do just as much damage with a hand file as I can with an electric file. Right. I've had a lot of training with it, a lot of years of experience, or even when I first didn't have experience, just a lot of training. And let me, can I see your hand real quick? Let me show you. Yeah, and coochie, I just, coochie, coo. And I tell them, number one, I would not do something on myself that hurts. Right. And I only use an electric file on myself. Right. That's it, end yeah. of conversation. Still don't want you to use it, still not your, your nail tech. Yeah, you can't, at that point, you can't like, you're, you're sending a really bad message yeah. if you're like oh, okay i'll take you anyway and so like you're hand filing on one client and then like your next client's coming in and then they're like what what is she doing well why is she using a hand file if it's yeah. not dangerous it starts to you start to compromise 
you know, your, I, I think your business because yeah. it's just, you're sending mixed messages. You, you have to sort of take that stand in a very kind, courteous, nice way, but you, you have to set, you got to lay the boundaries. Yeah. It's like going to a hairdresser and saying, I don't want you to use your sharp scissors because you might cut my ear. Correct. Correct. Exactly. Uh, uh, th- how do you how would you? yeah the clippers those things buzz you plug it in it's electric no 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 i mm. want you to literally take one strand at a time and yank it out of my head with <laughs> with children's scissors so you don't yeah, cut me yeah it's just it's yeah. not reality you're a pro um and i get the fact that there are pros out there that don't know how to use it and there, there has been damage and which is why you need to you should inquire about yeah. it and ask your professional like hey you know have you been trained on this or you know i am concerned about damage and just can you educate me yeah. and should be good for me it's a it's a very brief explanation yeah I like but that. i'm not asking permission yeah exactly question number three uh what are some different opportunities available in the nail industry and i'm thinking you know outside of just doing nails in the salon right like are there any other opportunities available um if you've kind of built your skill as a uh as a solid nail tech what would you say, Trace? Rapid fire. Let's see. Uh, salon owner. Salon owner. Um, educator. Ambassador. Ambassador. Influencer. influencer. Maybe distribution for a nail product. Uh, yeah. Did you say educator? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Those are kind of the mm-hmm. top of the list, Unless, right? I mean, some people build their own brand, I guess. Yeah. I mean, if honestly, if that's what you want to do, um, we... I encourage anybody if yeah. you want to get in that part of the business and you're passionate about it, you should. Um, it's it's a different, it's definitely a different part of the nail yeah. business. But I think the most but, common would be salon owner, yeah, ambassador, influencer, educator, educator. educators, and you can do like we've seen um, nail pros do do all of them. You know, I mean, like some of our. I mean, look at you, Tracy. I did. Like, I had all. I did literally all. Literally did all at the of same them. time. Yeah, salon owner, nail tech. Uh, well, I guess ambassador influencers weren't really around then. Correct. Educator. Yeah. yeah. And distributor. And distributor. <laughs> at yeah. At the same time. So you've literally sort of tasted all there is. And, um, and, and now you're actually another one, which is working, actually employed by a nail manufacturer. That, that's that, another opportunity. That's another opportunity. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, if you, I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> the the most thought, obvious one. <laughs> I just, I, again, TikTok. There's a thing like, tell me you're this without telling me that. Oh, and yeah. It's like, I'm like, can you tell me, I can tell you I'm bored without telling you I'm bored with all the different jobs I've had. <laughs> like, I get bored easy. I can tell you I get bored easy this way. By all the, yeah, I do this and I do this and I do this. <laughs> um, no, I, I think that's a real one as well because in general, Like if you have that background Mm -hmm. in nail and you have experience in the salon and you bring that to a manufacturer, even if, you know, you're doing, um, you could be doing customer service or Mm -hmm. whatever it is, you know, in the marketing, I think is probably a good one. There's, there's some opportunity there. It's huge. I think it's very beneficial to a company. Just, just saying. No, <laughs> just saying. no. But we have it a couple. Is. We have a couple. Like uh, Katie Lee's here. She, Katie. she was a, a nail tech. She's yep. on her own business. She's done all that thing. It, it's very helpful in um, customer service. It's huge. very helpful in product development. Inventory it's management. Everything. Yeah. It's like it really, it really, yeah. I mean, we we have. Uh, you know, obviously you, Greg, um, Katie, and then Kira, who's our community management, she actually worked in a salon. In a salon, yeah. So she has that, ba- that was a, that was a big thing for us. Yeah. You know, Kira having that experience in a salon and, and carrying that over into our business was, was big. I think it's a huge asset. If you, if you, if you're a licensed nail tech and, and you're looking for other opportunities, there's quite a few out there and and with education i mean our team has been all over the country all over the world yeah traveling so they've got to see you know it's just there's so many things that can come up from it but i think in the end you know you can make that transition from salon owner or or uh nail professional um independent contractor whatever into not independent independent contractor um what do you call it? Booth, rent, booth rent excuse me your own business into working for a manufacturer, I think there's some opportunity. We're always, you know, for for me, that's like yeah. a big thing. If it's like somebody that's a licensed nail tech that, you know, hey, they're interested in joining the team. It's always like, hmm, oh, interesting. Yeah. No, always. Like, I, I definitely. Like right? that's 
constantly in fact i've been meaning to talk to you i really would like someone another person on the team that that does nails that does and, nails and you can help with the product development and stuff yeah. like that yeah but constantly looking there you go if you have experience <laughs> let us know in the comments below hit us up <laughs> Next question is um, how to deal with favoritism in the salon. For example, if uh, the receptionist is maybe has a couple friends in the salon and when, when walk-ins come in, they're directing them to their friends. Uh. And how do you, you know, so that's one example. But in general, how do you, how do you deal with that? You wait in the back door at <laughs> night when it's really dark. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you, you. Different person. Yeah. <laughs> Tracy Ryerson, interesting. <laughs> I have issues. Do not cross Tracy I have anger people. Anger issues, <laughs> severe anger issues. It, it, but this is real. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. real. You yeah. know, especially if you have, there's a front desk reception that's booking. You know, and they're friends with people. Um, I've seen it. Uh, it. It's very frustrating. I would have. You, yeah. Uh, I, I have my opinion on what to do, but. Well, the comparison I would make is like, you know how you, you walk into a restaurant and then the, the um, I forgot the name, oh my hostess. God, the host, the yeah. host hostess, um, basically looks around and which table section oh. to, to drop you in and there's servers and it's like, I've I've had experiences where the, the, the host or hostess is like, brings me to a section and then one of the servers is like oh hey can you bring him to my section because i haven't had anybody and it's like oh yeah sure no problem and so it'll change and so that's kind of like a similar yeah thing. i could see that right you like know? oh they have 20 kids i'm gonna put it in this person's section i don't like right yeah. right like how do you how do you do I, I would say um and, and you were mentioning this before we actually started shooting so i'm just gonna take tracy's answer and use it as my <laughs> own <laughs> Go for it. I'm going to take credit where credit's not due. <laughs> um, no, we, Tracy was basically saying like, um, I would like, you have to say something, right? Yeah. Like, you have to communicate. And people were like, oh, that's going to be awkward. And uh, what I was saying was, it's already awkward. You're already pissed. Yeah. You're already pissed about it. And it's already awkward. They it know. Is. They know you're upset. Yeah. And they know what they're doing. So it's, yeah, they're not doing subconsciously. They're like, hmm, no, I'm doing it on purpose. Right. And whether they're reasoning it out in their mind. But so it is not a conversation with them i wouldn't even go to them it would be a conversation with the owner i have yeah. a problem this is the problem get your facts though don't you got to get your facts get your facts don't yeah. make it where well mm, i'm looking and you've had they've had one more person than you you know yeah i that's i think super important is okay let me get the actual facts right what does that mean well over the last you know, month, I'm sure you can pull up appointments or yeah. appointment book or you, you can some, somehow you need to get the facts of like, has it actually like, I'm getting the impression this is happening, but is it actually happening? Is do, do the, do the numbers speak? Yeah. And if it is, you got to talk to this lawn owner. And you know why Habib, this is your business. This yeah. is your income. Yeah. You know, this is, don't mess with my income. That that's that, that's a whole different thing. You know, when we're outside of the business and you're doing something funky and it's not affecting my income or my family, I care less. Don't care. But when it comes to money and affecting how I support my family, we're having open conversations. Yeah, you have to be transparent. But I really like what you said, Tracy. Like you've got to make sure that it's happening. So don't jump to conclusions because you want to make things really awkward you know make an accusation falsely accuse yeah someone. falsely falsely accuse and then when the numbers are rolled out it shows that you know oh actually you've been getting yeah. you know more and then it's like really awkward or it happened one day and so what can happen is maybe it is happening right but you you know it happened one day and there's not enough to back it up and then you're going to have a hard time going to him when it the next time it happens and yeah. you know and I'm not saying let it go for a long time but I'm a, I I I think it's because my dad was in law enforcement. It's like, yeah. investigate. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's the, the one thing that um, like a lot of times, if anything is brought to me here, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's the first thing you it's ask. It's the first thing I ask yeah. is, uh, is that act is it actually going on? Like what has this happened before? Has it happened before? What's the situation? Who said what? Has anyone noticed it? Correct. Like I want to know is this a consistent thing yeah. that's been happening or is it a one off or do people just have the impression because all those things play and I want to know for yeah. sure. So yeah. investigate, like Tracy said, and then open you got conversation. open conversation with the owner. 
Last question, how to build your social media following without getting in your own <laughs> way. Um, we've actually Get talked about this. <laughs> Get out of my way. Um, there's like a bunch of me's in my own way. Get out, <laughs> Abib. It's a weird visual. No more Abibs. <laughs> no. Um, so we, we've actually talked about this previously, but and this morning on Clubhouse too mm. is really interesting. We talked about this. The bottom line is like you have to stop judging your work and thinking it needs to be pristine. You need to post it and then you need to observe what happens from there. But I really like, you know, what Mr. Beast said recently. He's this, a huge, you know, gamer, YouTuber. He's on Twitter. I mean, he's just huge on social media mr beast beast yeah and and he's been doing clubhouses lately on like really growing your social media and growing your youtube channel and the one thing he says is like put out 100 videos post them first before anything you need to post 100 videos and then that will give you the beginnings of information of where you need to go 100 100 videos yeah so his point being is like you need information. The only way to get information is you have to put it out there. So stop holding on to your content <laughs> and thinking like it's, it's mine. I'm hoarding it. <laughs> it's mine. And stop judging it. Stop okay. s- stop saying this is not good enough. You don't know if it's good enough or not. You got to put it out to see what the deal is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I call that is having a conversation in your own head. Dude. Nobody I, likes it. It sucks. Oh my God. I do that all the time. I'm constantly talking to myself in my head, Tracy. It gets <laughs> ugly. It's like a war. It's not good. You're not supposed to argue with yourself inside <laughs> your head. That's when you know there's a problem. There's much, huge, massive problems going on. You know on. what? If I could see someone debating themselves in their own head, it would be you. It is. It is. And I do it often. <laughs> so don't be like me in this situation. Put your work out. Stop thinking it needs to be so perfect. Um, you got to get over that hurdle. That's the first biggest step. Start posting and there's a sense of freedom that comes with it, you know, and uh, trust me, get a lot of content out there. Then you can go back and start to observe, but you're getting in your own way. Stop over judging. With that, let us know in the comments below on any of the Q&A questions um, that we just went over. Let us know if you have any additional thoughts, reasons, concerns, concerns. <laughs> That could be one too. (laughs) Let us know in the comments below. Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us. We will see you next time on the Biz Talk.